Here I am. I was waiting for. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So Kading Live is on my background actually. So to mask the house is very small. So actually it was is it. <laughs> uh, this is a video editing application. So it's uh, we say they say we are leading on open software. So we are happy of that. We are happy to be KDE too. So it's uh, important for us. And so when you're ready, we can start actually. Oh, uh, I have to prepare this because even if I already propose it in the past, I want to start the presentation. Maybe I have to wait that the time is, uh, is correct. I would like to um, start the presentation with the video that I created last year for the same presentation of this year, actually it was in September. So it's not updated actually, it's just uh, stay on uh, on the version, the application version um, August 2020, but the rest of the, the, the event today will be explain what happened from this point on and to show what next and what's new in, in KDN Live now. And then I'm open to question, of course, everybody can uh, send me questions when they want all the time. I'm not bridged with metrics in this moment, so I hope that someone will forward me the questions in real time. I will, don't worry. Thank you very much. And uh, that's all. I can wait. That is the time. So in a couple of minutes, you want to ask me first something before to run the video. The video actually is the story. The, the history of Acadian Live starting from, to, uh, from 2002, that is the foundation of the project, up to today. And someone probably already watched it on, uh, on the about of the site, already watched last year. So I asked the person that people that already watch it to be patient <laughs> and uh, just three minutes though. And then we'll start to, to talking about uh, what's next in Acadian Live. I can play. We are. Uh, it's not yet. It's not yet yeah. the time. What? Well, one minute. I'm asking every every presenter so far. How is the event so far for you? But I actually, I today I was very busy. I watched just the person who was uh, now before me for ten minutes. Uh, it's always very interesting, actually, because uh, I would like to follow more because I would like to be updated uh, about the other project that I that are inside the KDE because we have all were interesting. And uh, I hope that people that want to be informed about what is the activity of this great community, it's uh, stay tuned and follow all the all the speech around uh, and not just me on. Uh, or whatever. I know that uh, KDE is very important for, you know, Krita, the desktop, uh, Kenyan Live, and other projects are moving very well. So, very okay. proud to be here, actually. <laughs> and we are very happy to have you here. And look at the time. I think it's uh, uh, it's time for you to, okay. to start. So, so like if you know what KDE Live is, we start with this video. Kadian Live is a community project which aims to deliver a free and open video editing software application to allow everybody to produce quality content in order to increase the democratization of the media. The application is a graphic interface written in C++ with Qt and KDE libraries for the MLT framework written by Dan Dennity, which relies on FF, MPEG to decode and encode almost all the video and audio formats that are out today, and which hosts effects libraries like Freyor and Moveit for video, and Ladspa and Sox for audio. By following the official documents that we can find on the internet, the project was launched by Jason Wood, who released version 0.2.3 in October 2003. Soon, KDN Live 0.2.4 followed, but the community did not yet exist and the group was very small. The project stopped for two years. Before the end of 2005, Jean-Baptiste Mardell, who heard that the project would be reactivated, offered his help and in 2006, he signed the post of the new release 0.3 of the program. From this moment on, he became the main reference point for the project. 
version 0.4 and 0.5 are soon distributed, but there is an issue. A refactoring of the code is needed to go forward. The program has to be moved from KDE 3, which is not compatible with MLT, to KDE 4. The rewriting ends in 2008, followed by several new releases, but in 2011, a further migration from KDE 4 to KDE 5 was needed to allow the program to grow. In 2012, a crowdfunding campaign is launched to fund the operation, and before the end of 2014, the goal is reached. Then finally, in 2015, KDN Live becomes an official KDE application. John Baptiste was invited to Academy to present 10 years of activity. The new perspective is to make the project even bigger. Before the end of the year, the first KDN Live Cafe is announced with the aim of getting more people involved. During this virtual meeting, it immediately became clear that in order to grow, KDN Live needed to be cross-platform. The Windows version was announced and 2016 began with a sprint meeting followed by the new logo and the new site. But as soon as the development of new features started, it was evident that the code for the timeline had to be rewritten because it was too old and no longer fit. Everybody knew that the refactoring could take several months or years, but the community did not lose enthusiasm. In 2018, a new roadmap was written, and in 2019, the refactored code was distributed, although some fine-tuning was still needed. To overcome this, the focus of the community in 2020 has revolved around fixing and improving the program. The result of this is the latest version, 20.08, which delivers stability, several new features, and a new interface with five workspaces. And that was the video. Now I want to share immediately this uh, window. This window actually is the window, uh, the Kdin Live that is um, also my background. Is the project? Is the project uh, that uh, to produce in the video you just uh, watch? I open it to show you that is uh, not very difficult that is uh, a lot of uh, situation in the time so a lot of uh, clip and different arrange all together to watch what we see these uh, all these um, audio tracks are actually is because i did uh, some test with different music but i don't enter in them i start from the interface to show you for example some improvement so we, we stop with the interfaces uh, that i we speak about uh, in this last year these uh, different uh, uh, layouts that for example i'm moving now from login to effects to, to audio etc but uh, uh, we didn't stop here we make some small improvement bigger improvement for example to the interface about the interface for example i can that we create these uh, um, zoom bar that are all over the interface not just in the timeline for example if I load this audio you can see that I can uh, navigate the audio in very, very fine details so this is an improvement also this is connected also sorry with the with, uh, oh I don't, I'm not to, to lunge a scroll by here. I don't know why. So, this is just when you are live, it always happens. Okay, sorry, it was me. Uh, so, when you want to navigate more in, the, in, the, in detail, also the step of the time, and you have the scroll bar also here. So, we all, all the window now are, I have this uh, commodity. Another stuff we can, we can show about the, the improvement of the UE, for example, we can change the color of the clip for example if i want to add light this clip i want that is a different color in background to to see to mark uh, i can select the clip and i can for example change the color to red for example if we want or another color to be highlighted in our workspace as we are here i can show you that we can also have the way to manage the template, the audio thumbnails in a different way, so we can normalize the audio to have the maximum size of the audio, or just take the audio as the the volume 
represented volume is a tonne now. Uh, the volume we maximize, uh, because when you have very tiny volume, you don't see anything to maximize the volume, so normalize the tunnel, it could be convenient, etc. Another um, thing I can show you that sounds very similar, but we have not before, uh, was that now we can remove simultaneously what all the tracks we want. That is something some normal, but actually we miss it, and now we have it, it's very important. Before, to close this project, because I don't want to change anything here, because it's a complex project, I would like to show you that we have also the, another new feature, important, this one is archive project. Archive project means that now we can uh, create a, an archive, a zip ar archive or a targz archive, with all the assets, or some of the assets we want, so that Archiving proposal, of course, or to move, for example, when we have to move to another machine and to have not the, the, the project to re address to all the pro other um, situations. So we move just the archive and at this point we can open back in a new machine so without any troubles. Now I open a new project so I can show you for further things that happen in the country. So I start going this uh, login space where in this moment we already have, we have the media browser that I show you better later because I will import more clip. And the online resource that I show you now, for example, we have uh, some uh, uh, online resources like Pexels, Internet Child, uh, Archive, etc. If they want to, I need some trees, I can just run trees and we find the resource related to trees with all the credit about the person that share with us so without uh, we can download the license etc in the browser, browser we have the the preview of the clip i show you later we can just drag and drop our clip from the position they are to our bin and we can find it in our bin here too I chose this clip because actually this clip is an interview to this guy that I was a project uh, for a broadcaster. So I use it because I want to show you that we had... Uh, in, uh, My name is David Danskitsky and I'm... Very noisy. We I take just uh, 20 seconds for this. Um, I want to show you that now we uh, add the two features linked to text. What I mean, um, I mean that we have a subtitle, automatic subtitle. So we have a subtitle track that we can use to create subtitles. Uh, we have here a subtitle creator, etc. But we can also create subtitle automatically. So, for example, I highlighted by putting an in and out point on the timeline to select a zone. I click on the one that we have all the way to reach this point. We select which kind or parsing of the text we want, uh, the language, we can download different language from the BOSC, BOSC is the plugin we are using, that is, we have to thank them who produce this, this uh, open software too, too. and we process uh, our uh, clip. While we are processing, I can also show you that we have uh, another tool, this is text edit, that, that actually we can load inside the clip monitor a clip, select the zone we want, and then extract the text from the audio, the same as the, we are doing with the subtitles. What happens? When we have the list of the audio, we can edit the text, or export the text to a text pad, etc. We can, anyway, edit the text and then export a playlist, a timeline, that actually contain the footage related to the edited text. So I show you the interface now. In the meantime, as you can see, we are producing our subtitles. And now we show how much are precise or not in terms of timing and transcription. So as you can see, now we have our subtitles here. So we can open it, edit it physically on time, etc. And let's show you what happened here. My name is David Dansky and I'm a professional cycling instructor working in London. As you can see. The to become a cycling instructor in the UK, it is a national accreditation. So my job title is officially National Standard Cycling Instructor, and it's okay. So uh, 
it works pretty well in my opinion i didn't know how it's parsing now the text if i select the correct libraries actually because before when i take the test it was pretty precise the text we can do the same here by using the models by parsing the zone for example all the zone and then extracting here is the button creating a timeline and the end of the job you see the playlist that is contained just the minute text we can uh, I don't know if uh, we have time to pass again the same text. Okay, I do it. And we'll see that we have also the space for um, the, um, the empty, where there is no dialogue, there is an empty space. That is, so, so it's very useful for YouTubers when they want to remove, for example, an empty space when they say nothing to make it automatically. No speech, you can see here, for example, this is... Uh, first line of text then you know that we have a pause here so probably will be again and no speech in the following lines and so on if we edit this text so we copy and paste and move it no speech or remove no speech what we remove and then we extract the playlist we have the playlist edited following our criteria. now other stuff i want to show you that are interesting for example very basic but very interesting is that we finally have a single track transition. Okay, what here? Everybody, write me so I'm scared that something is not working, or I don't know. I hope that uh, everything because I, I don't see what I'm broadcasting. So, anyway, here. I have to close this telegram. Please, could you mute the audio from your screen share? It's making it impossible to hear what you're saying. Thanks. OK, I have a problem with the audio. Still, I have to recognize the audio, even if. Tell me, please. I need a feedback for the audio, please. Uh, the issue was that we can hear you fine, but the sounds from your PC, like notification sounds and from KDN Live are a bit too loud. So if you can lower or mute the every other volume other than your voice, it would be perfect. And I, you need to unmute yourself uh, again, sorry. You're still uh, muted, unfortunately, on big blue button. If you can unmute yourself, I cannot do it. OK. OK, I remove uh, the application. I have the phone that is not here that was ringing before. I hope it's not bother me again, even if I will go to. I hope that we didn't break any good moment for anybody with this issue. I go back. I was uh, speaking about. Uh, uh, this single -term transition we apply it I, I show you before we click this and the button but there is other way to install it we can trim it move it and we have an interface to change uh, parameters about the effect uh, parameters we do a Good job, a big job by rearranging all the effect in categories. First, we had uh, some effect. I have a list. I don't remember now. We have some. Uh, we have a video equalizer. We put back inside. We have all the VR360 uh, effect for uh, virtual reality cameras and. Uh, uh, 
um, padding and other interesting filters, strobe and other interesting filter that comes recently. About the filters, we make an improvement uh, also regarding the keyframes management. Give me a second. I, give me a second here. Okay. Keyframe management. So we we can we now can use this button to create automatically keyframes by managing the footage. And we can, for example, um, select, for example, now I'm clicking, uh, I can take and press shift uh, key on the keyboard and I click and drag. For example, we can select more keyframe this way. We can do it by clicking the key, take, even press control and click on the keyframes, for example, select like multiple frames. We can even move multiple frames at a time. We can duplicate more. So, for example, if I select one and two, sorry, one and two, and then I scroll here, I can duplicate the two keyframes. I start for the second one, etc. We can, I can show you. Uh, move more keyframe. I, I I I show you before. We can duplicate more keyframe, and we can even select more keyframe. Example. Okay. And then change a parameter and apply this new parameter to all the other selected keyframe. We can select which kind of parameter we want to apply to all the other keyframes. Another thing that we improve in terms of um, effect, we create a zone for effect that are applied on the track, single track on the master. For example, if I, so it's very visible, if I apply a sepia, sepia effect on the master, Uh, this is the master effect means that uh, all uh, all um, the output is affected by oh, it's all... okay if i want just to apply this uh, effect uh, on a part of the timeline i click here and we can i can extend uh, example the area i want to just affect so not all the time this can be could be can be done also on sorry also on the track because I can apply the filter on a single track and you can see we can have, we have the area also just for the filter applied on oh sorry now is off the filter yeah uh, so as you can see, we have also a single area in the track or on the master. Now I would like to change again. Ah, no, before I move the change, I, I do something. I show you that someone complained about the title that is uh, nobody's working on it. It's not true. I show you some improvement also on the title. So here we create uh, a title. Uh, now we have the background here. Yeah, okay, we have new shapes, for example, uh, classic around the shape. We have again reintroduced the. Uh, I show you here if I can go down the type writer effect. So if I. The type writer effect. So we now finally can use it uh, again so we can show. So we can make appear um, the text carter by carter, by word, by line, and we even can customize the kind of animation. But the chance when we create a title to duplicate it by opening, editing, and we can update the old title or create a new one, it could be the copy or a edited copy, so different from the original one. And by using the patterns and the, the template, we can, of course, 
store, uh, for example, preset and different titles. So the titles start to be pretty complete at this point. There is also new stuff, but I don't want to say too much in the title. So I close now this um, KDN Live. Actually, before to close, I want to open these are two beta version of KDN Live. The first one is that one. And we have to thank uh, Julius Kunzel for this uh, uh, new feature. At the moment and that we have to wait that it's opening so I can switch uh, and sharing uh, the new window is open is open one second please okay it's finally on so I can share it give me one second okay Hello. Change oh, no. okay. Also, here okay, and I can close this one. Sorry that I have to <laughs> space too many stuff. Okay, this is uh, the space uh, of the beta version of KDN Live. It looks like the same actually. I can use the a media browser, as I told before, for example, now I change completely the folder. I go here, let me look. Okay, this is a folder of footage. As I told you, we can have, for example, the, uh, the, media okay, browser, gonna do the preview of our footage. To the media now we can, for example, uh, Start from selecting one, two, three, four, five, six, and we can drag the clip. Sorry, okay, the clip inside the project straight away from the okay. I'm okay, anytime you like. Okay. Now I'm here to show you, for example, we have a long clip here. Okay, we can use this one, five seconds, for example. This one that is longer, we take a section here. We put it under it, after it, and then we use another some second of that one. We create a small project. Now we are in this situation, we create these three objects, but when we are working, we are not very busy about the in and out point of this uh, midsection, for example, because it's not uh, okay. play very well. Uh, is, uh, for example, there is uh, the zoom that after the zoom we cut immediately. So we want to trim it by using the slip system so i click on the slip will be available with the keyboard on a certain point so now we can change the in and the out point of the clip without moving it you can see if you watch in the timeline that we have a blue area that show us the maximum range of the frames of the clips that is the blue the pale blue area and the dark blue area is the part we are using this moment in the project monitor we watch we can watch the in out point the new in out point of the clip following what i'm doing moving and the previous out, po out point and the following in point clip to hide what to do for example i want to uh, start with the red bus uh, avoid the zoom at the end these are my new in our pot. pot. Okay. Why we are doing performing this um, operation? We have all the reference in terms of keyframes, numbers, and these minus five, one plus one plus five will be for the future. For the future, when will be 
buttons we can click to add and remove uh, frame in of the, in this quantity next step of the demonstration and then i finish is to run another copy okay then live always beta i'm running it okay now i share it so i close this one and in the meantime, I can even really ter terminate that one. Um, so I share the new one. Okay. I can do the same here too. Okay, I already did. Um, now I show you that we can. This is a, a, a feature that will be in the version probably so in this summer uh, the trimming will be complete probably at the end of the year not in the next release we can add the one playlist or mean more than one sequence or more than one timeline if i add the playlist and i click it as you can see we have two tabs now there are the two different places if i for example create a color clip for example cyan and another color clip that could be yellow for example and i use one two and three just to make an example i take the playlist we create in the other timeline and we have exactly 15 seconds with five seconds of yellow five seconds of cyan and five seconds of yellow again. But if I change this sequence of object and I reverse it, what happens? We have still a, a dark area at the beginning, we remove it. We go here and the editing is changed here too now we have a cyan yellow and cyan so this shows that are going in the direction of creating the multiple timeline i i hope that is was visible i don't i don't see any more uh, the sharing uh, here in uh, Wait a moment, we have a problem in in my, I don't know what's happening. So if someone can give me a feedback about if we, you were able to see or not, the demonstration could be nice, like you did with the, with the microphone with the before, microphone I'm, before very I'm very sorry for this, for this. Uh, we yeah, could see we could the application so far, but not, not now. I don't know why. I, I okay. I, I try to share it again. Wait a moment. But anyway, we we were you were able to understand what? No, no. It's not more uh, visible in the list of of the of the. No, it's not more visible in the list. Okay, I run it again. I I start again. Uh, Probably live is a, is a is a beta version this one and could be problematic. So I run again a normal version of KDN Live to have it as a background. I have the risky beta version, but I hope that you were able to uh, follow the demonstration anyway. Uh, Okay, I'm trying to fix up everything here, okay. Uh, no, oh, wow. We go button. Okay. Voila. We are back. So if there are questions, I'm very happy to. I hope that I didn't forget anything. It's possible because the list of things we did is so man, we did so many stuff that I really I try to be very synthetic in half an hour. I would like to answer with pleasure with question if there are.
Okay, thank okay. you very much, uh, Massimo. So far, there are no questions in the widget, uh, although there is one comment, um, which I guess I can read, uh, waiting for questions to come. Uh, this is from a user that says, I would just like to thank everyone who's work on Kaden Live for their hard work. The potential of the project is limitless. Thank thanks to all of your efforts. And I completely agree with that comment. Okay, I I, I, I speak for uh, the group because I'm not alone. We are a community and we are a strong group uh, on the base. So I can thank for everybody. I hope that with the technical issue we had, uh, the explanation was clear. And then every, anyway, we have, an, we have an idea of the new stuff that are coming, mostly the, the new trimming tools, uh, and, uh, and the multiple timeline and all the job we did starting from the point uh, uh, we dropped in the video before. So means that we have just the multiple workflow, or workflow the, the workspace for different workflow. And now today we have a, a bunch of improvement in terms of effects and feature and other stuff that we insert in the program during this uh, last eight months. Okay, we have questions coming in. So yes. the first one is from Jonathan. Uh, Krita has had success putting it on Windows Store and Steam and others and selling it and hiring developers. Kaden Live is another flagship app. Could, could it follow the same model? There are discussion about uh, what's next in terms of uh, how we arrange uh, the way to deliver, the way to interact. Uh, we have very few. And that is not uh, convenient. So we are trying to uh, collect more people possible by Telegram, by other channel we are running. The idea to be, oh, we are already in Windows. You, you, everybody of you knows that we would like. We we taking we took in consideration the Windows Store at a certain point, but I'm not the person that is uh, focused on that. We received from one of our. Uh, uh, support uh, a Mac, uh, Mac OS, so a machine, uh, a Mac computer to try to finish to develop uh, and deliver a version for Mac because the Mac users are very interested in, so we are happy of that and we would, would like to deliver too. And uh, we'll see how to try in the future maybe to collect uh, directly donation if people want to do for the moment uh, we asked to people to donate to kde that actually uh, found us some operation like the sprint and other important stuff that anyway uh, comes to us in, in any case so yes but we are re re reorganizing and try to doing better and to uh, to be more people if possible <laughs> okay thank you uh no further questions so okay. i guess thank you okay. very much massimo for the yeah. presentation i hope it was clear because uh, with these technical uh, problems i really didn't uh, understood a certain point what's what happening because uh, here i'm alone and just playing with the computer <laughs> i don't know what's happening on the on the other side well vi virtual conferencing has it has its uh, pros and cons <laughs> it's true Okay, I hope to be was good enough, and then we see you next time, probably. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye. Bye.